Hey guys, how's it going? Jolster here. Welcome back to another video and this time I'm going to be tweaking and playing with HDR, different modes on HDR. So one of the biggest reasons I'm doing this because I've noticed that a lot of people have a, a lot of questions regarding HDR on this model on the Samsung KU 6300 which it doesn't offer white color gamut but it, it does have HDR and it's actually the rate on HDR gaming is pretty good on the artings.com, that website that, you know, they do reviews on TVs. And this TV has pretty good rating on gaming and HDR gaming. But what I've noticed and even I notice is that sometimes when we are playing games on HDR, we notice that the games go actually dimmer or they get darker. And for example, I'm playing this Gears of War 4 and this is a very dark game already. The picture is very dark on this game. I'll show you what I have right now on on my HDR. So this game is on game mode. What game mode does is actually makes the picture a little bit darker, but what it gains is this better input lag right here. So this is on game mode and I'll show you the settings that I have. So I put my backlight all the way up because like I said, it gets really, really dark. So I have to bring the backlight all the way up. The brightness is at 50, but you don't want brightness in the picture, the whole picture, because then all the, the darks are gonna get all washed out. It's gonna look like grayish instead of dark. So you don't want that. So the contrast is at 90, the sharpness, I put it down to zero. You don't want any more sharpness than, than your, your game already has, right? So also the color is on 50 and that the rest is uh, pretty much the same. But I want to show you something. Dynamic contrast is the one that makes the picture actually brighter. But what it does is pretty much the same as the, uh, as the contrast that I showed you here before. I'm sorry, as the brightness. So dynamic contrast, pretty much what it does is like it takes a picture and if it's too dark, it adds more, more light to it. So it's the same thing, what it does, you see how it gets brighter and then brighter and then super bright. So every time the picture is changing, it just gets brighter. So what it does is like the, the blacks, the colors, the darkest colors get washed out again. So the blacks look more like gray because it wants to put more, more light in there. So that's why I have it off, I have it off right here color tone i have it to warm let's see and this is the standard it gets colder and then and then cool i don't know if you guys can see any difference here but i actually notice a difference when it gets too warm too i don't like warm too i think it gets too uh yellowish so i don't i don't know i don't like that i that's why i mean like in between white balance rgb mode Color space is an auto. So this is another thing that you guys can also change. Some people are saying that native is the way to go. Some people are saying that auto is the, the how the developers meant to be. But look at this, how it, you see the, the blue, how it gets more solid when it's native. So the blue is actually darker. And when it's auto, it's a little bit grayish. Well, it just a lighter blue, that's all it is. And this is darker. So. I think this is just depends on how you want your picture to be. If you want more colors, like deeper, more colorful, I think you should leave it at native. And then auto is more, you know, as opposed to what, you know, the developers, developers want it to be. But I think it all depends on what you want. You know, a lot of people are gonna be changing the settings a lot because we all have different, you know, different tastes of what we want, right? And I also notice then each game uh, offers different way of HDR. So some games are going to be brighter, like Uncharted 4. And for example, this game is, is darker. The, the whole game is pretty much darker. And I'll show you right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, the picture that I'm seeing with my on my screen, it's actually dark. And this is what a lot of people are saying. So basically we all want to use game mode because it offers the lowest input lag. Fortunately for this to be, input lag is not a big issue. Even without game mode, you still pretty good. You still get pretty good input lag numbers. For example, in game mode, you get about 20 milliseconds of input lag. 
which is really good. I mean, the normal eye will notice input lag after 50 milliseconds. So this TV offers 20, on, 20 milliseconds on game mode. And if you take off game mode, let's take it off. It'll jump to 36.7, which is, you know, it's about 16, 17 milliseconds more, but it's, it's actually not bad. It's still in the safe zone for input lag. So now let I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna play with this different pictures. So let's play with dynamic. The dynamic makes everything brighter. I don't know if you noticed, but everything is brighter now compared to game mode. So this is dynamic. This is standard. This is natural. I like natural actually because it's it's bright, but at the same time it's not that bright, and I feel that the the blacks are still black and in the bright you see how the street got really bright i don't like movie mode at all everything is just like yellowish and warmer super warm this is great for movies if you want to do that so i like like i said i like natural and this is standard and this is dynamic dynamic looks pretty cool too i don't know about standard and these are these are the settings that come uh, in the box like out of the box on the tv i haven't changed anything on this one so what I'm saying is that if you want to get, you know, better HDR, just go ahead and use the regular settings that your TV has. Like I said, the input lag, it will change, but it's mostly for competitive gaming, you know, um, basically competitive gaming, they want, you want to have the lowest input lag, but in that case, just get a computer monitor. You don't need to buy a, a TV like this if you want to be competitive. This is mostly, you know, for, for casual gaming, hardcore, uh, but not competitive so like I said if you want to use HDR and especially on this game everything everything gets much much brighter and your input like won't be affected as much as compared to other TVs this is one of the best uh, TVs for input like and like I said even outside game mode this is going to be the best choice for input like so I'll, I'll show you how it's going to look again with uh, with game mode Game mode on and I already show you the settings for you know for game mode you see how it gets darker it gets a lot dimmer so in the end I guess it's just your choice you know if you want to play with the lowest input lag you can ever have you just gotta go game mode right here but you'll sacrifice a little bit of the picture I mean even this game offers HDR but you won't get the brightest the brightest of anything so if you want the brightest with HDR, you will sacrifice, you know, uh, you won't sacrifice the, the picture that much. So let's take off game mode, let's try here. There it is. Now, like I said, you can play with dynamic, which is really the brightest one. Standard, I think, wait a minute. I think standard is even brighter, I don't know. And, or natural you know now let's go check out the settings on natural see the backlight is all the way to 20 brightness now sharpness you can you can downgrade sharpness I mean you don't need that many that much more of sharpness your, your game already offers that so you don't need more so you get the best picture quality you know and then let's go here now this this make sure that you remove this if you want low input lag make sure you, you turn auto motion plus off this is a pain 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 if you have it on so let's turn it out let's turn this off black level auto so this is what you know stock from factory what well, they have see dynamic contrast they have it on medium and this is high so let's just leave it on medium, color tone standard. Okay, so colors are standard. You can change this to warm. I actually like it warm. You see how it gets? And this is like yellowish. But, you know, they offer you uh, standard. I don't know. I kind of like it in warm. What do you guys think? I kind of like it in warm and then white balance. 
color space you see it's right here native they don't change it oh this function is actually unavailable here so you can't change this and this is for what this is for natural okay so that's it guys this is a better solution for hdr uh, and i'm testing this on gears of war 4 if you have you know a preference that you like to put on the on the comments let me know in the comments below what's better for you what why you like it why why it works better for you but i'm going to be testing uh more hdr on the uh probably on like an uncharted 4 and i think i also have uh ratchet ratchet and clank clank ratchet oh, i forgot ratchet and clank on uh playstation 4 so i'm going to do that too with the hdr because that game also offers hdr and like i said this is the settings for for the Samsung KU 6300 series and so you can get better and brighter HDR all right thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave a comment on the down below to like the video and to subscribe to the channel support the channel thanks for, thank you so much and I'll be coming back soon thank you guys have a great day Joster out All right, guys, before I go, I'm going to be playing a game online to test the, the input lag to see how it is. And I'll show you right now. So let me get into a match and, and test it out. All right, guys, let's do this. Let me test the input lag in here. Check it out. No input lag. I mean, there is input lag, but it's not even noticeable. See, and I'm playing on, I'm playing on natural picture mode. All right. So let's just play a little bit to see how this goes. I haven't played this game in such a long time. So I got to get my, I might get my ass kicked. Let's follow this one. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you. Shit, I need my, my help. Oh shit. Oh, I'm on myself. <laughs> oh well all right guys so that's it no input lag whatsoever nothing nada Holy crap. Oh, damn it. <laughs>